before. Ow! Oh! Just great. Is everything okay? I gave my report to the Admiral. Apparently, some of the crew have called for me to be stripped of rank and cast out. I'm so sorry, Seika. That must be really hard to take. It doesn't matter. Where are we headed next? Well, um, we know where Londra sent the data from his old company. Somewhere on the mainland, north of where we met. Should be able to fly there. Yeah, about that. Let's take my skiff this time instead. I'm a fan of flying, huh? I'm a marine. I'll take the water over the skies any day. All right, I'll take your skiff. Should we get going? Yeah, let's go. Follow me. <sighs> nice and easy. And unlike flying, if you fall off, you don't die. disappearing behind us, along with everyone in it. Why do you put up with them? I mean, I, I get what it's like to feel as if an entire tribe's against you. I would have stormed out of there a long time ago. It wasn't always like this. I was a good Marine, a good sister. It felt like I belonged. That belonging is a kind of strength. One that keeps me going, even in the roughest seas. When you have something like that, you can't cast it aside. You see, you know, your people don't know how lucky they are to have you. I don't know about that. I do. Seems like the coordinates are leading us towards that horse. That thing gives me the creeps. On clear nights, we can see it from the camp looming over us. There! On the shore! More of our boats! Then we're on the right track. I'll take us in! its point to somewhere up the hill after you Definitely seems like we're heading for the Metal Devil. Why would Londra send his data here? I'm not sure. It's an odd place to bring a bunch of Quen to. I just hope we find them. My people were here, all right. Looks like they had further up the hill. Coordinates lead that way, too. A barrier. Laundra must have set it up. Doesn't look like there's a way past it. There's 
some kind of device on the other side. I think I can scan it. Let's see what's on this thing. It looks like there's something further in. Some kind of compound. Laundra might be in there. You're missing people, too. I'm not seeing a way past the barrier. Metal devil can't actually wake up, can it? I'm not sure. But at least right now, it must be how Laundra's powering the barrier. So if we can find a way to shut down those generators, it should come down. It's worth a shot, at least. It looks like there are two of them nearby. Come on, let's get going. The generators should be back down the hill. Shoot the core. 
Battle's all yours. Got it! One down. Now for the other generator.
backwards. should be gone now. Ancestors, I hope my people are in there. Looks like this place still has some power. Generators must have just been for the shield. Have you come to join us? Join you? Yeah, we have. It took a while, but we finally made it. <laughs> a barbarian, one of the chosen. Impossible. Zath would never allow this. Hmm. How did you get in without him? Well, Zeth sent us, actually. After we helped him out of that, um, that ambush in the wilds. Right! You see, I was on my way here with him when machines attacked us. We tried to hold them off, but we were outnumbered. That's when Aloy here came to the rescue. I was exploring the region when I ran across them, so I just rushed in to help. <laughs> you should have seen her. One of the best machine hunters I've ever met. She saved Zeth's life. Oh, I was just doing what I could. Zeth had something important he needed to take care of after, so he said to go on without him. And that's when he told us how to lower the barrier and said we should head straight inside. 
Zeth really needed a barbarian to get him out of trouble. We all need a little supporting fire every now and then. Well, Zeth gave him the okay. And I am not risking one of his outbursts. Let the others inside know about our new arrivals, will you? Fine. But I'm not letting them into the Ascension Hall until they prove they're devoted. Just like everyone else. And I'll be interested to hear Zeth's side of this when he returns. Oh, by all means. Don't mind him. Good luck in there, Seika. May you both embrace his light. Oh, that was close. I can't believe my people are here willingly. And they answer to Zeth. Yeah, he sounds like a great guy. Let's get to this Ascension Hall before you have to meet him. A hologram of Palandra. Welcome, my chosen. You have wandered, you have suffered, but you are lost no more. For I have found you, and I offer you what you deserve. The Ascension. So be at ease, forget what you think you know, and embrace this. That's a lot of Wandra. So he wants us to embrace his light. Literally. We better keep up appearances in here. I'll try. I'd like you to meet some old friends of mine. See, we were at the best party in town. Just an ordinary work before. Now, ah, you must be the ones Brennick mentioned. Two more souls chosen to leave our thankless old life behind. Yes, that is us. It's Kiral, right? You were stationed on the Spark? In my former life, yes. Just one more Marine bound to a hopeless expedition. Ugh. Enough of that. Hmm? As Walter says, we must forget the past. Our suffering led us here after all. And now, the ascension is almost upon us. This place is such a wonder, isn't it? I've never seen anything like it. Oh, but it is still nothing compared to what's in the ascension hall. You've been inside? Indeed. I proved my devotion not long before you joined us. Now I wait to be taken to what lies ahead. One step closer to the Ascension. You mentioned you're waiting for what lies ahead, and we're still getting up to speed, but... I thought the Ascension Hall was where we needed to go. You're not the first to fail to grasp Walter's plan for us. Now that I've seen what's in the hall, my rank is secure. But there is something more that he's offering us. I just know it. It has to be why the devoted are escorted to another place. And as soon as Zeth returns, he'll take me there. I'm ready. Do you have any idea where this place is, exactly? Somewhere that brings us closer to Walter. To his embrace. So you've been inside the Ascension Hall. Is it as special as we think it is? I shouldn't say. I wouldn't want to deny you the same experience I have. Come on, Kural. Just a hint? We're dying to know what's inside. I'll tell you this. It's 
breathtaking. Like the moment Walter first appeared before our boat, but better. Prove your devotion, and you'll see. Well, thanks for talking with us. Yes. Oh, good. This guy again. It isn't our do-gooder, and the Barbarian. It all makes sense now. The time of ashes, the floods in the Great Delta. We've been trapped in a cycle of destruction, but soon we'll have a new world. That's quite a promise. And now that you've proved your devotion, you're ready for what comes next. Zeth will lead you there as soon as he returns. Not so fast. Your good deed in the wilds may have gotten you this far. But you'll get no special treatment here. Walter himself granted me the privilege of guarding the Ascension Hall. So until you complete your review and learn the words of attainment, this door remains shut. No exceptions. Okay, okay, we will be back later then. It sounds like we're supposed to pass some kind of laundry devotion test. But who knows how long we have before this Seth guy gets back. There's gotta be a faster way to learn whatever the words of attainment are. Let's take a look around. Maybe someone will be willing Come, to help us out. Sit with me. We should see what Laundra's been telling them then. Might be useful. I'd like to tell you a story. Once, I had a home on this world with the most beautiful view of the city. Me and my wife, we used to love to sit and watch the city lights twinkle in the evening haze. It's our moment of serenity. But then the time of ashes came. And while the heavens offered an escape, only I survived and grasped the secrets of immortality. Evelyn, everyone I ever cherished, they were gone. And I was alone. Which is why I am so glad to have met you. Soon, you and I shall spend eternity on a new world. Every sunset. Together. I'd rather sail into another typhoon than spend an eternity with him. Of course. I'll get us a drink. In the meantime, remember what Walter said about embracing the future. Seems like you don't really share your friend's excitement about all this. I should be more excited, shouldn't I? It's okay to question things. Lon was thrilled when we got into the Ascension Hall. He can't wait to see what we'll be taking next, but I'm worried that all this is too good to be true. So why don't you just leave? I can't abandon him. We've been through everything together. Our, our missions, the Typhoon, the Shipwreck, and soon, the Ascension, I guess. Seems like most of the clan are more than happy to follow Londra. So why not you? At first, I wanted to believe. I mean, everything he told us felt like it filled an emptiness, like maybe I'd finally found somewhere to belong. But then I remembered how the boards back home would tell us to follow the virtues of the legacy, to be good and honest. And then they dragged my father away for speaking out against an imperial decree. 
I'm not sure it's any different here. Walter might be a living ancestor, but with a cudgel like Zeth to do his bidding, his kindness is just as conditional as the Empire's. As far as anyone at your settlement knows, you went out into the wilds and vanished. How did you end up here? Lon and I were part of a scouting mission to the mainland, but things went bad fast. We were lost and starving, our boat was wrecked, and then Walter found our camp, a living ancestor, emerging from the wilds to tell us we'd been chosen, that we were safe. It was easy to embrace. Everyone here has a similar story. Why didn't anyone send word to us? Not everyone is chosen. But Walter says we must leave our old lives behind if we're going to ascend. Nobody questioned it. But I should have. You said Lon can't wait to see where you're headed next. Do you know what you'll find there? I imagine it'll be another kind of test, like here. Once you've been in the Ascension Hall, you're taken there by Zeth. He and his troops are the only ones who ever come back. Everyone keeps mentioning him. I get the feeling he's not really a friendly guy. <laughs> as friendly as a fire claw. But it's not just him. The soldiers that follow him are like that too. I guess they know they can do as they like now that they don't answer to the Admiral or compliance. You're right to be skeptical of all this. Wanderer is up to something. We need to get into the Ascension Hall to figure out what. And to do that, we need the words of attainment. I don't want to stir up any trouble. When Zeth comes back, he'll figure out that I told you. Does it have something to do with one of those laundry displays? This is important, Otosu. A lot of lives are at stake. It's related to what Walter said he valued most about his friends. Well, that's not hard to figure out. Lantra likes being the center of attention. No, that's not it at all. This was a bad idea. I, I shouldn't be talking to you. Hey, it'll be okay. I promise. I'm sorry, I can't. Now, please, just leave me alone. That could have gone better. Don't think we'll be able to convince him to help us again. Maybe we should study up on Lantra before we talk to anyone else. Did you need something else? Look, Kiral, we need your help. You said that the Ascension is almost here. Seika and I are trying to prove our devotion as fast as we can. But we're running out of time. We need to get into the Ascension Hall. But, but the only way to learn the words of attainment is to pass your devotion review. Unless you help us out. We're a lot like you. We've suffered so much until now. Storms, shipwrecks, hunter killer machines. We don't want to go back to that. Well, we should all embrace his life. Perhaps even with a helping hand. Okay. It's kind of what Walter said when he sat with us and told us his story. About where eternity lies? It's not a new world, right? As part of the Ascension? Exactly. 
You understand him so well. But I don't know. I, I really shouldn't be breaking protocol. Please, Karal. We don't want to live in a world without Walter. Okay, I'll tell you. Only through devotion may I embrace his light. Only through him may I ascend to a new world. Thanks. We owe you one. I'm glad to have helped. May you embrace his light. Well, we got our words of attainment. <coughs> Renick should let us into the Ascension Hall now. I already Let's told you. No one's getting past me without the words of attainment. Oh, we know the words. Seika. Oh, no. You should have the honor, Aloy. Only through devotion may I embrace his light. Only through him may I ascend to a new world. No one's ever passed their devotion review so quickly. Well, we did, so will you get out of the way now? I don't know how much more of Londra I can take. Yeah, let's see what he's really up to. All this time, they didn't even want to be found. We don't know if they all feel that way. Yeah. Sure. Something on your mind? Nothing. The Ascension Hall better have answers. That's all. There was something different in Nova's tongue today. The slightest edge of recalcitrance. Tweaking her settings brought her back in line, but I'll run a full diagnostic just to be sure. An elevator. Let's see where it leads. Punch is really building up the suspense. Must be quite a spectacle up there. Ascent. I'm just building a spaceship, all right. We better take a closer look. The clouds. They're not real. It's all an illusion. Focus. What's that sound? It's a, a warning, I think. For radiation, something toxic. That should be safe enough for now, but I'd better check out the ship. Okay. Tell me what you find.
SP again. What does that mean? The rocket. The source of the radiation. That's why he grabbed data from that old prototype at his headquarters. It must be how I'll get the lift he needs. Look, what did you find? The Horus. It has a... a special component. One that can make almost anything you can imagine. Parts, tools, even entire machines. Londra has rigged it to build what he needs for his ship. But in order for the ship to leave, it needs a ton of power, way more than what Londra could achieve with what he had. So he went looking for something from his old company. Exactly. Part of the data he got was for a blueprint, for a kind of boost. One that's as toxic as it gets. If this ship gets airborne, it'll spread a poison from here to every tribal land in the region. Everyone will get sick and die. There's still something I don't get. Why would Landra do all of this just to get off this world? Oh, this again! Sake. You're still not telling me everything. My people are the ones that are caught up in all this. My sister! I deserve to know. You're right. I will tell you. It just won't be... Guess our time's up. Line filth! Oh, this must be our friend Zeth. Spread out. Reinforcements will follow. Time to put you down! Never seen a cannon like that before. I guess Lundra gave him a new toy. Maybe there's a way to set it up. I won't get to crush you myself, Sacob! That shield's blocking my shots! Ha! Ah! 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 Ah!
It's not gonna budge with the lockdown. to two more nodes. I gotta keep looking. Lifted. Now to get to sleep. There's something off about them, but for now we focus on Zeth. Come on out, Zach. Here we go! I'll enjoy crushing you both! 
Nice to meet you, too. This is as close as you come to salvation! You've been taking the rest of our people. Answer her question. He takes the devoted to his park on the southern peninsula. But you'll never reach it. The tower there is positioned to ward off any approach. And my sister is there? She was in the Fennel group. I'm not supposed to bring any more over, but Walter promised the Ascension to everyone who proves themselves. I don't understand. Londra's been using you to get what he wants. Let's face it, you're an easy mark. Too blinded by your own ego to see the truth. Well, you just flipped his world upside down. Just give me a straight answer. Why does Landra want to leave? Something is coming to Earth. It destroyed the world that Landra fled, and it wants to do the same thing here. Destroy the world? What could possibly do that? It's called Nemesis. It's like a machine, sort of. But it's more powerful than anything you or I have ever faced. That's why Landra's building the ship. He's doing everything in his power to leave before it gets here. And I guess he wants to take some coin with him, too. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but there's still hope. If you say so. Seika. 
There's a beach on the southeast coast of the island where we took down the first tower. That's probably the closest we'll get to Londres Park. And I should probably report back to the Admiral. Tell him something about what we found here. Okay. I'll meet you at the beach then. really bad. Seika, she seemed so... lost. Why do I feel like that, too? How do I fix this? For now, I'd better take a look at that Zenith weapon. I think I can turn this into something I can use. There. I should test it out when I get back outside. Better check on the rest of the Quinn on my way out, too. Willing to irradiate thousands so long as he survives. Sick and I have to find a way to stop him once I make things right with her. Walter has abandoned us. I guess Brennick spread the word to the rest of the people here. That Laundra doesn't care about them. They must be pretty confused. You. Brennick told us you're the cause of all this. like the Quim have some thinking to do. I hope they figure it out and head back to Fleet's End. But I gotta meet up with Seika, talk things out with her, and make sure we're okay. <laughs> 